Anyway, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking about to be down here. Michael on this Saturday morning. Kind of getting started a little later. It's probably about 9 o'clock. I don't even know at this point. But, uh, yeah, had a pretty productive uh, few days. As you can see, everything's up, ready to go. Uh, I forgot to video it just now, but I did hang this plastic up here. Uh, got it attached real good and uh, ready to go. I am going to uh, take some insulation, little scrap insulation, and uh, put back in this corner because you can see daylight. You know, when you butt a when you butt a two by four or a board up against brick, it has some abnormalities, some little crevices and such. So I'm going to put insulation back in there and uh, get that taken care of. That's really the only spot. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I got a little list. Let me see. So. Uh, my list of things to do today is hang plastic, run a wire. I got to run from this outlet over here and put an outlet over here. Uh, I'm going to insulate this wall and this wall. And I'm considering, but probably won't, uh, possibly putting a window right here so I can put a window unit. But I'm kind of, I don't want to have a window unit sticking out the front of my house. Um, it, I just don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll look appealing at all. And I don't want to put it over here because, well, it's not much difference. So, uh, what I'm considering doing is getting a portable air, uh, heat and air unit. Uh, I'm considering doing that. And, uh, I just also posted online, uh, to a group uh, to see if our HVAC system has enough juice in it that maybe I could put two vents in here, but it probably don't. Most of the time when they put those things in, they put them right at the limit of what the house needs. So this is about 225 or so, I can't remember, uh, square feet. And uh, so if I do the, I'm thinking if I do the portable unit, which I don't want to do, but if I do it, I think I can put it over here in this corner. And I think I might be able to put a hole in that utility door and vent it that way for its exhaust and just let it exhaust into that closet. I don't know how good that'll do. You know, most of the time, you know, you got to have a window or something to vent uh, the heat that's being, you know, pushed out. So uh, if any of you know anything about portable units, I'll show you. Yeah, forgive the movement of the tripod, but uh, we have a door here. And I'm just thinking of putting a hole down here and venting it into this closet. Uh, I don't know if that would work or not. Our gas water heater is in there but i don't think the airflow would mess with it um i mean surely it's not pushing out that much air you know that little unit that's what she said but i'm thinking of putting a hole in there and just letting it vent in there if any of you have any suggestions for that let me know because i don't know exactly how to vent it out here because all the little kits look like they're made for windows you know uh, they don't look like they don't give you like a dryer vent. <laughs> they need like a dryer vent that you could put out there and uh, vent that way. So uh, anyway, if you have any suggestions, yell at me. Um, I'll just stay right here. So as of right now, that's my main my main objectives for today. Uh, throw some insulation in that crack. Uh, hang more insulation. You know, get that wall and this wall done. Run the wire. Uh, and then, well, we'll go from there. If I do more, that's great, but, uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, stick around for the clips and all that stuff. Uh, we'll do some more today. Did I say, hey, how's everybody doing? Damn good. Well, thank you for asking. Uh, the body beat down here. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that. But anyway, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get some stuff going. Uh, I'm ready to get some, 
Stuff rolling on the boom my thumb is killing me. Killing me. If y'all know my problems that I got, I can't even hardly use my thumb anymore. Anyway, this, this video ain't about that. Let's get on some uh, insulation, guys. Stick around. So if you're ever in a house and you feel drafts kind of through your wall almost, it's stuff like that that does it. So that's one little thing done. So you've seen me uh, have a little trouble with the corner. That happens more times than not. And you see I had to notch it out pretty good. That happens more times than not. Uh, they make little metal plates that you can get and put over these things. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, not only does it help protect the wire that you just ran through there, but it gives a little bit more, uh, some structural integrity uh, back to it. So don't freak out those of you professionals out there. Uh, it's going to be okay. So 
let's get this wire run over to this outlet and uh, we'll be done with it. So there we go. We're going to clip these off, tack, tack them up and make them right. And uh, I got a guy that's going to come over maybe today. I don't know. And uh, run my home run over to my, uh, to my breaker box. And uh, yeah, we'll be done with the wiring. So stick around for the next clip guys. All right, guys, we're fixing to just drill a hole up here. So we can get that home run ready to go. Uh, one thing I noticed yesterday, unfortunately, after I got the wall up, was, uh, you know, drilling a hole up here and getting it above, you know, the getting it above the ceiling, inside the ceiling, so I can run it over to the breaker box. Well, I can't really do that. This is a, like a 2x12, 2x10, something up behind here, and... Uh, you know, my only option would be to drill all the way through that and get up into the attic. I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I got about a half inch lip right here of this two by uh, one by or two by whatever uh, face right here that was originally here. And uh, about a half inch is sticking out. So I'm going to drill down to get my hole here and I don't want to do it but unfortunately I'm gonna kind of have to run my wire uh, like back in here it's gonna be a small channel about a half inch channel right here and the drywall is gonna be sitting out here so I'm gonna run my wire along this and then it'll go uh, I can take it up and uh, kind of angle it and kind of get it up out you know, into the ceiling and into the attic at the end. So uh, some things you just got to kind of work around. It's totally safe. It might not be the code or it might be, I don't know, but it'll be safe behind here as a half inch channel. And I'm going to tack it up and make it good. So uh, yeah, that's the only option that I really see. Um, I guess I could have made that one my home run. And originally, I was going to have a wall, I was going to stud up a wall on that side over there and have that outlet be the home run, which would have been super easy because it, it would have went right straight up into the attic. But kind of a change of plans, I didn't put a wall over there because I'm just going to leave that natural brick and not mess with that. So I'm doing it this way. And uh, anyway, yeah, I could make that one there my home run. Or I can make that one there my home run because it could be drilled straight up into the attic. But I don't want those in my home run. So anyway, uh, you got to kind of work around stuff. So let's go ahead and do that.
right, and I'm going to go ahead and continue this on around, and we'll pick up in the next clip, guys. Stick around. All right, guys, and just like that, we're done with all the insulation. I went ahead and ran uh, this wire that's going to be run to the home, uh, to the breaker. I went ahead and got it started, and all we got to do is run it over and kind of feed it up, and I'll, I'll help the guy that's coming over to feed it up. But I wanted to go ahead and get it kind of set there and ready to go and then get the insulation in to some degree uh, so I can say it's done. So everything's filled in, all the cracks and crevices, all that good stuff's filled in. And, uh, yeah, um, so I'm probably going to put up a few pieces of drywall today. So, man, things are moving along quick, guys. I can't believe it. <laughs> it went from being an old carport to it's fixing to be old office, you know, pretty soon. Of course, like you seen yesterday, I got my flooring over here. I uh, went and got that yesterday in Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, found a good deal on Marketplace. And it came with the padding. Uh, yeah, everything's going smooth, guys. Uh, I'll tell you right now, the hiccups that I've had. The first hiccup that we had was this wall right here. The side wall, the first one that we built. I made it too tall. So uh, we spent a lot of time beating it back into place with two by fours and finally got it after like several minutes of beating the crap out of the wall. So that was hiccup number one. Hiccup number two was, what was hiccup number two? Hiccup number two might have been something on that out wall where that opening was that little that 10 foot by four foot window roughly it was that um i think uh something to do with that was uh, a two by four was giving me problems it was like all the the couple of sheathings the outdoor panelings that i had up looked good and then i put another one up and it was kind of popping out about maybe an eighth of an inch and uh, it was a two by four that was too far out and it wouldn't let it go in so i had to finally take it apart and uh, kind of beat that two by four in. Another hiccup that I had was this wall. Again, I made it a little snug. Not as snug as that one. That one there technically is holding up the entire house, probably. That's how tight that one is. <laughs> uh, this one here, I eventually got into place. It was just a little bit too long, but it did, it did great. Uh, once I finally got it into place, got it going. Uh, another little hiccup I had was trying to hold the 4x8 sheets on this wall, you know, where the big opening was, uh, to try and get them screwed in and going myself. And finally, my brain kicked in. I said, well, I got a couple little scraps off of the, the siding that I cut, you know, to give it a little uh, so it fit perfect uh, good. So I put those little shims up under it and sat them on there, and it, and it helped out. So sometimes you forget what you're doing. You don't think of things. So I had that little hiccup. Not too much at all, really. Like the biggest part, if I would have cut this wall a little shorter, if I would have cut this wall just a little shorter, boom, it would have been done, like super quick. But other than that, man, it's, it's went smooth. I got everything ready to go. I got my drywall ready to go. I got flooring ready to go. I got a bucket of mud there. I got sheetrock screws and everything ready and as far as the outside goes the outside you know uh, panels that I put up uh, I've told you this before I still got to trim out around them and and uh, the seams where they butt up I got to trim all that out and I'll probably end up having to paint it all but that you know I'll, I'll do that and I'm gonna uh, use a lot of caulking up around where the framing is to make sure everything's filled in good and make it look you know pretty decent as I can I'm not a woodworking carpenter, amazing person, so I'm gonna do the best I can. So, yeah, uh, that's just an update today. And uh, if I do some drywall, we'll get some more videos. If not, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down, where I'm really beating my body down in a totally different way. So uh, we'll get back to working out as soon as all this is done, and I hope it's soon. So. Get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. And this might not be the end because there might be drywalling at the end. So we'll see y'all later.
the wall coming out of the utility. We're circling around. That's the corner my desk is going to be in. Right there. We're just kind of doing a recap here. Looking at all the insulation. The wiring's good. Everything looks good. And like I said, that's the home run that's ready to go. Got the, got the roll of wire down there. And it's just going to be uh, kind of channeled through there. And done. And then we got that wall there. And then we got... What the heck? That was scary. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Go away. That's my goofy son. Anyhow. Drywall will be going up later. <laughs> yeah, what's up? All right, guys, we're going to throw up a little bit of drywall. What's up? Yeah. Did you split me off? Just going to see which one it was. If it was on video, I would have proof. Here. That there was this or proof. <laughs> the one that feels like better metal. The other one feels weird. Touch it. Feel the difference? I think we're now. Yeah. 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 So basically, I'll just tack this off and then we'll get another. Mm. Why is this not unraveling to where it's easier for me? Down there. You can oh, do that. Did you get it? <laughs> All right, guys. So we're starting to drywalling. Drywalling? <sighs> Just going to tack it up for now. Uh, while I got a little help. So, anyway, we'll put up one more piece, and then uh, we'll pretend the rest happened. You know, we'll, we'll catch up later. Let's do another piece. It's a mad. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the last clip for the day. I'm done. Uh, my oldest son helped me hang some of these at the top. Uh, besides that one, I did that, in, uh, did that in on my own. I have hung a 12-foot sheet on my own. But that's not easy. So, and I'm not that crazy no more. Anyway, man, it's going good, guys. Ooh, all them years I did construction and hung drywall, you don't even know. You don't even know how many sheets of drywall I hung. No clue. That's one of the best outlets I've ever done. <laughs> First try, measured, cut it, fit absolutely perfect. My son, my son even was impressed. That don't usually happen, guys. Not with me anyway. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I got a lot done. I feel good about what I did. Um... So the guy never got a hold to me uh, that's supposed to come over and run that uh, over to the uh, breaker box. Again, I'm running it back behind the channel and up to the ceiling uh, in the corner over there. You don't know where my finger's pointing. Back over there in the co in that corner right there, guys. Right there. Anyway, I can't, the lens sees things differently. So anyway, man, we are moving along. Tomorrow is Sunday. Man, I'm thinking of taking off. <laughs> I probably won't. I don't need to. I need to go ahead and keep working. I probably will. And uh, anyway, and uh, as far as like, Mike, why didn't you do this right here? Well, I'm waiting till the end to fill in stuff like that. Uh, 
I'm going to wait until the end and see what I got left. Uh, I may have to buy another sheet or two. <laughs> well, I'm tired. But uh, anyway, so we are going to hang a, a drywall up on that part right there. Uh, whatever. You don't know my finger's pointing. Camera, you're crazy. Hang a drywall all the way around that top. Well, I mean, that, that's obviously going to be covered. Uh, so anyway, put up there. So anyway, long outro. I uh, hope you enjoy the clips, guys. I hope I'm showing you a little different side of Mikey Sun. Mikey Sun. That's what I was known as. Now it's the body beat down. <laughs> anyway. Whew. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael. You're tired and worn out host for show. All right. Get up, get out, get rad, do it, John. We'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. It's almost 5 o'clock in the PMs. I'm hungry. Let's go eat. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it, do it.